Elon Musk lambs Apple's App Store fees, 30% tax on the internet. So Elon Musk lambed Apple's widely scrutinized practice of taking a 30% slice of revenue from transactions within his App Store on Monday, asserting that the fee was definitely not okay. The Tesla CEO raised his concerns in response to detailing a complaint from European regulators who say Apple abused its leading market position to stifle competition for its mobile payment system, Apple Pay. Apple's store is like having a 30% tax on the internet, Musk said. Musk added that the App Store fee was literally 10 times higher than it should be. Musk is the latest of several tech firms or leaders who have criticized Apple over the 30% fee, which applies to paid downloads and other purchases for developers earning $1 million or more in annual revenue through the store. So here's this tweet, Elon Musk at Elon Musk. Apple store is like having a 30% tax on the internet. Definitely not okay. Elon Musk at Elon Musk, literally 10 times higher than it should be. So Apple representatives did not immediately respond to a request for a comment, and Bloomberg reported that PayPal, the payments platform that Musk co-founded and later sold, played a key role in the potential European regulatory crackdown over Apple Pay, grumbling to the European Commission about the iPhone maker's business practices. U.S. regulators are currently eyeing action against Apple and Google over their App Store business practices. One piece of legislation, the Open App Markets Act, would block online marketplace operators from giving preferential treatment to their own app, among other measures meant to promote a level playing field. Musk previously slammed Apple's App Store fees during the company's high-profile legal battle with Fortnite maker Epic Games. Apple booted the video game company from its App Store in 2020 after it introduced its own payment system. Apple App Store fees are a de facto global tax on the internet. Epic is right, Musk tweeted during the trial. During the trial, an Apple executive revealed the company made at least $100 million in fees from Fortnite commissions during the time the game was available in the App Store. A federal judge later delivered a split verdict in the case, though the ruling was largely in Apple's favor. Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg also jabbed Apple in a June 2021 blog post detailing that Facebook would not charge creators for work posted on the social media platform through 2023. When we do introduce a revenue share, it will be less than the 30% that Apple and others take, Zuckerberg said. I mean, feel free to give your thoughts on this. I find this kind of interesting because does this mean that Elon Musk is probably going to push pretty heavy in some sort of revenue stream for Twitter that might like make it or break it kind of scenario for Twitter? in terms of profitability, because 30% is a large amount of money, like a large amount of money. By the way, if you want to learn how to get a debt, go to fortiumbox.com.